Hey guys, this is Eddie, and uh, just wanted to go over a couple things with this uh, top down battery uh, battery jump pack. And uh, reason why I got it is because I got a ton of batteries around the house that uh, they constantly need help. Um, you know, they sit over the winter, they get discharged, and instead of pulling out the old battery charger, I do have a shop battery charger. But instead of pulling these out and plugging them in, and I just wanted something simple, just grab it and go. And uh, this thing <clears throat> has been pretty good to me so far. The only one thing I came up with, uh, the first one I got, I had some problems with the um, the charging port. It wasn't snug and it was having difficulty charging. I contacted uh, Top Don and uh, their customer support sent me a new one right away, no questions asked. So I actually have two. All right, and um, the second one doesn't have that problem, so it worked well. And not only do I have a bunch of uh, equipment over here uh, at my house that you know, boat batteries. I got a I got a generator over there. I got uh, a couple of lawn tractors, and uh, and I have three kids and a wife. So you know, um, the, it, ironically, my son called me the other day. He, his battery died when he went to go pick up lunch at uh, the pizza joint. And uh, so I went over. He had someone trying to jump start him, and the, it wouldn't take a jump off another car. I used the uh, Top Don uh, jump pack, and it jumped the battery no problem. Um, then we ran to uh, Batteries Plus, got him a new battery, and he was off and running. But this thing, you know, it jumped it no problem. So I was really impressed with this. I got like 14... Uh, jumps off it when I, when I was messing around with my tractor and um, I was really impressed with uh, how much power this this little jump pack has and not only that it also has some ports on here USB ports for charging like uh, laptops or your cell phone or whatever and then it comes with um, it's a smart connector which uh, has a square port on it so it can only hook be hooked up one way um, and the cables are uh, they they do have really good spring pressure so uh, yeah I was impressed with this whole um, jump pack so another nice feature about this jump pack is that it has this little LED light uh, pretty bright and uh, you know if you uh, come out to your car at night in a parking lot or something you don't have a flashlight or whatever this will help when you're under the hood um, lighten up where the battery uh, cables are what colors they are um, it has a strobe feature and it also has a um, SOS feature. So you just hold the button, right? you hold the blue button on the back and the light comes on, you hold it again and that's your, your SOS, you know, tell you that uh, you need help. And then you got your regular strobe, which is like, a, say you're on the side of the road or something and uh, you're changing a tire, you can take this baby out, put it on the road and it'll alert somebody that, uh, you know, you're working on your car there so you know nice little feature to have uh, especially if you don't have a, a light under your hood and uh, it's pretty bright too so let me show you all the stuff that i've done with it so far uh, like i said i'm pretty impressed all right this thing's been in storage for about eight years and hasn't even been started hasn't nothing so I hooked up the battery tester to it. Um, I just wanted to see what the, if there was anything left in the battery. And obviously this thing has, there's no juice whatsoever. This battery tester works off of um, battery power only. So just to show you what I'm talking about, this thing works with just battery power. There you go, comes on. All right, let's see. Look at the positive first. Look up the negative. And there's nothing. So this thing is dead. There's nothing. Headlights don't come on. Battery is totally dead. All right, so I got this uh, top down uh, battery uh, jump pack. It's a 1200 amp jump pack. I'm gonna give this a shot. Turn it on. We get three bars. This uh, 
Smart connector can only go in one way. It has a square uh, port on one side. So I'm gonna plug that baby in. It's gonna be uh, alternating green and red, okay? I should put it this way. I'm gonna hook up the red clamp first, and then I'll do the black clamp just to, to reduce any sparking. The clamps are pretty, pretty solid, all right? The, uh, the light did come on green, which means I do have it connected properly. So let's just see if this thing fires up. I mean, I'm sure it's not gonna start, but let's see if it uh, turns over. One, okay. It does turn over, piece of cake. Now, one thing I uh, wonder about this jump pack is you try jumping something one time and then you have to, I don't know if you have to shut it off or if you have to disconnect it. So let's shut it off and then disconnect one side. The red light's still on. So it looks like you have to disconnect the smart connector and then reconnect it. And then you're ready to go again because it is flashing red and green, which tells me it's ready to be hooked up. Once I hook it up, these clamps are pretty tight though. It tells me that it's ready to go. See how it just went to red again? So there must be some kind of uh, protection in these cables where you can only do it one jump at a time. Uh, you know, one jump and then you have to disconnect everything. Uh, I don't know if I like that feature, but uh, it is what it is. And as you can see, none of the lights are on. Now they're on, it's still off and nothing. Turn it off, turn it on. Yeah, and then the light is still red. So it's gotta be some kind of built-in feature where you can only do one jump and then uh, it shuts the power off to the cables. You know, maybe it's a safety feature so that you know you don't touch these cables once you pull them off the battery, you know? the. Usually uh, the car will start and then you pull the cables off and if you don't shut it off, you still have power going through the cables. So it is possible that it just shuts off all the power so these two cables don't touch after you uh, start the engine. All right, I I'll buy that. All right, so I do have my generator here. As you can see, it is a Honda generator. Although I haven't used it, uh, but once this year, the battery is pretty low. I definitely got to put it on a trickle charge, get the sucker back up. But um, it's not starting right now. It definitely is lacking uh, a charge. So as you can see, turn it on. It has not enough juice to even start it. So what I'm gonna do, look at the jump pack. Light turns green. I have three bars. Should be able to go.
Does run, just not getting any gas. All right, so we're gonna give this uh, dump pack a try here. Turn this baby on, get the lights going. All right. Um, Give it a shot, bud. See what happens. There you go, it's running. Okay, I don't know if you caught it in the last video, but uh, during the uh, producing of that video, I got a phone call and my video footage got cut short. So I ended up reconnecting the battery jump pack uh, connectors to one to the battery positive terminal and then one to um, a ground strap that was it comes from the the batter, the negative side of the battery to the body of the vehicle so when you jump in a vehicle you don't necessarily have to have the negative uh, cable on the on the negative side of the, the battery you can have it to any part of the body that has a good ground uh, this would be a good ground. Obviously, if there's a ground strap attached to the body like this, I mean, that that wire goes right to the negative side of the battery. 
um, but any kind of ground strap like that. There is another one right over here. Um, again, the strap is attached to the body of the vehicle. Can you see that? All right, so that strap again, mounted right to the body of the vehicle. And also if you, if you have any engine components, like if you can get down here and clamp it to uh, any part of the engine as well, any metal part of the engine, as long as there's no rubber mount or anything uh, separating the, the ground that you're connecting to that goes to the engine. It's gotta be a direct connection. So I hope that helps. And uh, you guys got any questions or comments about uh, the jump pack or even just jumping a vehicle, just leave them in the comment box below and I'd be happy to answer for you. Take care guys and thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, okay?